So it's got a 20 second restart delay. Hey guys, we got a trouble call for a sewage lift panel um, with quite an assortment of problems. Sounds like they had a bad uh, voltage monitoring relay. Uh, they've got a new one on the way. Then it sounded like um, the pumps weren't coming on when they were supposed to. And then the latest uh, this morning, the operator came and the pumps were running dry with the whole sump empty. And so there's a whole plethora of odd uh, symptoms and issues. So we'll head there and see if we can figure out why uh, the system's performing as it is. All right, we'll see you there. Twelve amps, pump one. Hole's not really falling. There's seven and a half horses apparently, so it's not the worst amperage. Let's see what pump two draws. Same thing. A little less, ten amps. Now the level's falling. Here's the motor saver that had problems earlier. Let's check our line and voltage. There is a lot of construction happening here. 208, 207, 208. It's showing. Reverse phase fault. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so we just switched two of the phases. It's got a delay. We'll see if it's happy. That could mean the phases got switched. Feeding into it. Yeah, looks good now. On the side here, we can see common is four. Normally open is five. Okay, so. Something's happened to the rotation. That's not good. At some point here recently, uh, nothing would work because our power monitor was tripped. Um, rather than notice that it was the rotation, we just someone just shunted out the power monitor. So now the rotation has changed from normal. <coughs> That means the pumps are spinning backwards. Single stage sewage pumps like this, they'll work backwards, but not very efficiently. So let's put the rotation back how it should be. I can do it right down here. Move this back over from testing, get it landed, and then just verify the amperage of the pumps. Make sure the amps are all good. I don't know why it was running and running and running. Um, that's probably a problem in the sump. So we'll go look in the sump and just make sure everything makes sense in there. And then we should be good. So it's got a 20 second restart delay. Now the 
pumps should be spinning in the correct direction, or at least however they were spinning before the rotation got changed. And there we go. Everything's up. Let's see how the amps are now. About the same. A little higher. 12, 13, 14, 13 amps. 14. Thirteen amps. Levels coming down. Yeah, about thirteen. There we go. Amps. Really low. Seven. Eight. Nine. Very low amps up, oh, but the level is falling. Nice. Very low amps. Quick drawdown. So nine amps. P1, good, and 13, P2, also good. Our overload is set to about 19, 20 amps, so yeah, perfect. Alright, that should do it. See you on the next one.